Hi, my name is Christos Bainbakis and I am from Greece. In this video, we'll speak about automation. Automation is a function found in most DAWs which allow us to change almost any knob or volume during mixing a song. For example, when we want to turn the volume up during a solo and then bring it back down again, or when a guitar riff or a bass note sound longer than we want at the end of the track, we can change the level of the volume accordingly. So what changes we did when we hear the song again, we'll see that they have been recorded. Generally, the most common use in DAWs is the volume that I'm going to show you today. In this example, we will use Sonar X2 Producer Edition. So here, I've got a sample from one of my songs with three audio tracks, a guitar and two guitar solos along with a drum and bass groove. The problem is when the guitar playing along with the drum and bass is too loud and covers my solo number 2 which is quite low. Let's hear it. First, we have to go in the box below of the name of the track and we will change clips with clip automation and then gain. Some other DAWs have mode as latch, touch, overwrite, etc. So here, as we can see, a red line appears across the track. Now we can adjust the volume in two different ways. The first one is by fader. Let's see the console window. We go on the correct channel strip with the name guitar in our case and we have to press the letter W which means right. Some other DAWs have a record button instead. As we can see around the panic knob is a red square, the same around the fader as well. That means it's ready to record each of these, depends on what we want to do. In our case we need the fader. Let's go! Now I have to pull the fader down to the level I want before solo number 2. Now. So before we go to hear it, we need to be sure that the letter R next to W is on, otherwise it will not read what we have done. Let's see what happened. following the volume that we have adjusted and uh, the volume of the guitar is lower than before. Let's see on main screen. As we can see the volume line changed. This point here is when I started to pull the fader down. Also made some dots that we call nodes by the way and with this we can change the level of the line of each of them. Now we have to go on the track with the name solo number 2 and we choose automation and then volume because we will use the second way which is by the pencil tool and move tool. First we need to create a node in the area that we want to change the volume level. One at the beginning of the track, uh, one next to that and one at the end of the track. Then we select the move tool and we need to pull the node at the level that we want like that. I think here is fine. And the same at the last node. Some other DAWs, they're using pencil, they can draw a line straight away. Let's hear it. We can hear the difference. We can use automation for panning or almost with any knob or, or button on the channel strip of each track. That was how we can use automation in Sonar X2 Producer Edition. Thanks for watching. See you soon.